to Dewey Moore. I'm Erica Cardenas. As summer break commences, families are enjoying a dip in the pool, movies in the park, or a summer getaway. But there are other ways to enjoy summer, like being right here at the Boys and Girls Clubs of the Valley. While school is out and the summer fun begins, there's always a parental concern on how to keep children active and entertained, which is why we decided to visit the Boys and Girls Clubs of the Valley, where great summer exploration begins. The Boys and Girls Clubs of the Valley aren't just fun, but in everything that a club kid experiences, there's purpose. It's a safe place where it ensures each club kid with academics, social skills, and emotional stability. With 31 clubs across Arizona during the summer, the Boys and Girls Clubs of the Valley provide award-winning programs designed to change the lives of young people in a fun way through their great summer exploration initiative. Take a look. Summertime is our favorite time of year here at Boys and Girls Clubs of the Valley. Lots of fun things happening. You're in rotations, you're getting some academic help, like reading programs, you're having fun in the art room, you're having fun in the teen center, and we're having visitors all the time. So we've got special events with the Diamondbacks and with the Science Center and all kinds of great activities for kids all day long. There are 31 branches all around Arizona. Boys and Girls Clubs are open for the summer and really summer is a celebration for us. It's all the time of exploration. It means field trips, it means special events. So the great summer exploration means that kids get to explore what they're interested in. So that means you might be in the Cox Innovation Lab and you're getting to use new technology. You're getting to explore eSports. That means you might be trying VR technology for the first time, or you might be in the teen center learning a new skill using the 3D printer or the Glowforge. This is the time to explore or what you're interested in. has been a longtime partner of Boys and Girls Club of the Valley. We have had them as a partner for more than 20 years, and they've been investing in Cox Innovation Labs. That means that they're renovating every few years our computer labs. That's where our kids are doing their homework after school. That's where they're getting homework help. It's where they're getting to play eSports. It's also where they're getting to be online and get to learn a little bit more about the world. And so they're getting to explore in those innovation labs, but Cox goes one step further and they're adding things like a VR lab. They're adding all these really fun cutting edge tools like a simulation for um, aviation where they can really explore careers even. And so every time Cox comes in, they do something really special, really new that's unique to the club. Boys and Girls Clubs of the Valley really runs on partnerships. Every club across the country relies on partnerships like Cox Communications coming in and doing these innovation labs to make sure that our clubs meet the needs of kids today. And it's also a way for us to keep the club fees really affordable. It's really important that our clubs be affordable for all families. And it's thanks to partners like the Arizona Diamondbacks, like Blue Sky Pest Control and Cox, I think one of the most important things that kids get out of Boys and Girls Clubs are the friends that they make. And also the relationships that they have with our staff people. Our staff members see them every day. They get to know them, they get to know the families. And these kids are club kids for life. And what we see is that kids are with us from the time they're five years old all the way to 18. And hopefully they're even doing internships with us. I'll tell you too, about half of our staff members are former club kids. After they go through the club experience, they want to be part of the club. They want to give that same experience, that same friendship and those same relationships back into the community. All kids are welcome. We still have a few weeks left of summer and any parent is welcome to come and take a tour of the club, bring your kids, bring your teens. Teens are free um, to be here in the club and we just want them to have a great place to hang out, a fun place to make friends, hopefully make great relationships, get ready for the fall, get ready for the fall semester. Um, but this is a great time to come into Boys and Girls Clubs. The Boys and Girls Clubs of the Valley not only provides a safe, positive, fun environment, but it also is a place to learn and be challenged. If you'd like to support part of its amazing mission or for more information, go to bgcaz.org. I'll be back with more and doing more after this. Welcome back to Doing More. We're enjoying some great summer exploration at the Boys and Girls Clubs of the Valley here at the Grant Woods Branch in their Cox Innovation Lab. For thousands of Valley kids, the Boys and Girls Clubs of the Valley is a safe refuge where they can learn, play, grow, and become strong, resilient adults. And speaking of academic success, check out how the Boys and Girls Clubs of the Valley is always innovating and empowering its club kids through the launch of the state-of-the-art Cox Innovation Lab. We are so excited to be here today and on behalf of Cox Communications, we're here to dedicate the new Cox Innovation Lab at the IG Homes Boys and Girls Club. So on behalf of Boys and Girls Club of the Valley, we are so excited. Are we ready to do this? Yeah. All right. Yes. Five, 
four, three, two, one. They have anywhere from e-gaming to science. They have some microscopes. They have a smart TV where they can draw on it. They can really be interactive with it. Um, they have a flight simulator. They have a driving simulator. And we couldn't be more thrilled because these kids are so excited to really celebrate STEAM and everything that's fun about a Boys and Girls. This is a new take on our old Cox Technology Centers where we used to have a room full of computers, which is really important to these kids. We now have new innovative technologies for them to explore and to experiment with. So interesting microscopes and interesting technologies that the kids can safely experiment with and learn. What you'll find is that Cox Communications is very committed to the communities we serve. And that, that commitment shows up in a lot of different ways. We have a keen focus on K-12 education. So the Boys and Girls Club Innovation Labs are a very natural way for us to help. But we also realize that it doesn't end at the doors of the Boys and Girls Club. And so giving these kids the opportunity to explore potential careers or workforce opportunities is just a huge way that we can send them out the door prepared, curious, and educated about what career paths might be best for them. This club is really important to this community because it's one of our few clubs that is not anchored to a school. So the kids that come to this club really want to come to this club, but it's really the center of this community. It's one of our oldest clubs, and it's just that place where we really need to be able to keep them safe while our parents are working. The Boys and Girls Club of the Valley has been working with Cox. It's one of our strongest partnerships because they are throughout the valley, we're throughout the valley. Maybe someday our kids who become adults can then go in partnership and work at Cox. So Cox Enterprises, our parent company, made a very audacious goal a few years ago to improve the lives of 34 million people by 2034. And what we're doing with the Innovation Labs with the Boys and Girls Clubs, what our employees are doing with their volunteer time in the community, all is how we are going to achieve that goal. I hope they walk out with dreams. A seed is planted, so what can they do? It's hope. Everything that we sell here at the clubs is hope of what our kids and teens can become. We also had a chance to visit the Boys and Girls Club Gable Branch where they kicked off summer and availed their brand new Cox Innovation Lab. Take a look. Today we are celebrating, we are ribbon cutting Cox Innovation Lab here at the Gable Branch. Here we are in the Teen Center. Our teens are gonna have an eSports space. They're gonna have a space to learn aviation, to learn how to drive. They've got simulators, um, so they can even start on workforce while they're playing games and, and a space to be together. They knew something big was coming. The doors have been closed. They haven't been able to even peek inside to get a look at what was gonna happen. So I know they were really excited to see those doors open and actually see the, oppor the new opportunities and the exciting learning that's gonna happen. It's a great day at the Boys and Girls Club Gable Branch as we are dedicating the new Cox Innovation Lab. We are so excited to have you all here today. Thank you so much to Cox and your longtime partnership with Boys and Girls Clubs. We're excited to cut the ribbon today. Let's do this. What this means is that we have a state-of-the-art facility now for the kids at the Boys and Girls Club. These kids now have the opportunity through our 20-year partnership to leverage connectivity and to explore technology. They're able to explore all their personal interests, right? They can be doing science, they can be trying out aviation, they can be flying a plane on the Charles de Gaulle Airport and landing a plane on an aircraft carrier. It's really cool, but it's all to expose them to different kinds of workforce ideas now in the future. They can uh, 3D print with some pins. They have some not traditional microscopes that they have at school, but they have the digital ones. So now they get to look at what that looks like through a little screen. It allows them the opportunity to be competitive with one another in a healthy way. So now we have competitive uh, gameplay with the kids, not just playing for fun, but also for potentially scholarships in the future. The Cox Communications and the Boys and Girls Club have had a very successful and mutually beneficial partnership for 20 years now. And it really started with a recognition that we both shared a passion, which is helping kids, helping kids stay connected, get their education, not fall behind because they lack an internet connection at home. And so we've been able to work together successfully for 20 years, creating these innovation labs to make sure these kids have a safe and productive place where they can do their homework and explore STEM careers and just have fun and be kids. Our partnership with Cox has been such a long time, right? They've been one of our very first partners and such a key partner, especially during and after the pandemic. 
so many of our families don't have internet at home. But even now, as we refresh these Cox Innovation Labs, kids have a really cool place to do their homework, be with their friends, and we hope explore other workforce ideas. I want them to feel supported. I want them to feel like they're at home. And I want them to feel that they have a safe place to express themselves, but also figure out who they are as individuals. Um, so that once they leave the club, we have equipped them with all of the tools for them to grow up and be successful, great, to make an impact in the world. Since 2003, Cox has partnered with the Boys and Girls Clubs to help position kids for successful futures. With more than 100 innovation labs across the communities we serve, BGCA kids receive assistance with homework, research, employment, and college preparation. The labs are a safe place where students can tap into the internet, learn about robotics, discover 3D printing, and acquire new STEM skills. What a great way of doing more. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Doing More, where we shine a light on the good things happening in our communities. We're here at the Boys and Girls Club of the Valley at the Grant Woods Branch, where the Arizona Diamondbacks are hosting their bike giveaway, sponsored by Blue Sky Pest Control. During our great summer exploration here at the Boys and Girls Club of the Valley, Grand Woods Branch, we experienced the Arizona Diamondbacks new bike giveaway event, where club kids received a new bike while promoting the importance of living a healthy lifestyle. The Boys and Girls Club of the Valley cannot survive without the support of its corporate partners. Corporate partners make a difference in the lives of the youth and teens through their financial support and cause-related marketing programs. To become a corporate partner, visit bgcaz.org. And speaking of corporate partners, we headed to Casa Grande where the Boys and Girls Club of the Sun Corridor celebrated with the Arizona Diamondbacks and Cox Communications for the brand new reveal of the Cox Innovation Lab. Take a look. We are bringing this incredible innovation lab in a partnership with Cox and the Cardinals and the Boys and Girls Club to bring these computers and all this technology to this community and to the kids who come to the club every day. This is at our Lincola branch in Casa Grande. Invited representatives from the Cox and the Cardinals, elected officials, board members, friends of the organization, all the kids that were here that day for the summer program. And so I had a really cool ceremony where we talked about this project, this facility, people's attachment to it, all those kind of things. Thank you all for being here today for the official ribbon cutting ceremony of the Cox Cardinals Innovation Lab. I want to be a veterinarian when I grow up, and I know that I will need to use a lot of computers to get there. Thank you, Cox, and thank you, Cardinals, for supporting this project and help club members like me accomplish our dreams. They're getting everything they need to connect to the World Wide Web and to explore everything they could possibly imagine uh, and also learn about technology, learn about the digital world. And so they'll have everything that they need to learn, to play, to enjoy, to experience everything that computers and technology, the World Wide Web, have to offer. I've been on the board for the Boys and Girls Club for almost 20 years now. And uh, this prior to me being mayor, and so I've realized the importance of Boys and Girls Club to our kids and our young people and to our families. It gives them after school programming, we get summer programming, and it's just a great place for kids to grow up. This is unbelievable with Cox, what Cox has done, as well as the Cardinals have done in, in making this happen for these kids. This is part of that growing process for them to educate themselves because when they get a job down the road, they're gonna to need to know this stuff. That's what we're doing. We're teaching them and training them so that they'll be ready for tomorrow. The computers, you can play a lot of games and you can learn a lot of things. You can type in how to be a veterinarian and then you can, and then they'll show you all of the stuff. And then next, for, and type in how to be a cheerleader and then you can like write, write the stuff down. As you can see behind us, we've got kids in the lab. We've got the VR room in the back, which is the most exciting piece of this project. So we did a renovation project and that's when Cox and Cardinals came to play, brought this innovation center to life. We ultimately want to help young people 
prepare for a tech-heavy future. It's really our commitment to bridging the digital divide, partnering with the Boys and Girls Club and other community leaders and organizations like the Cardinals that want to bring this resource to every single child and every single family and all the communities that we serve. Thank you, Cox, for the Innovation Lab. While visiting Southern Arizona, we decided to stop by the Boys and Girls Clubs of Tucson where they're building an all new team tech and workforce readiness center through the support of Barker Contracting. In this building, we are in the Holmes Tuttle Clubhouse and we are transforming this into a teen tech and workforce readiness center. I'm so excited about this project and what the impact is going to be for our youth and for the community. This was a clubhouse that had seven to 17 year olds and what we realized was we were losing the community influence because kids were graduating, kids were moving out of the community. So this clubhouse wasn't getting the attendance that it had in the past, which made it premier for us to turn it into this teen tech and workforce readiness center. We are gonna be equipping our youth with podcast streaming, music recording, Xer games, culinary commercial grade kitchen, a huge steam room, the STEM with the arts. We're also gonna have a real exercise facility with all the equipment you would expect in a normal gym. And in addition, we're gonna have virtual reality headsets allow us to give simulations to any kind of vocational training to get them interested and equipped so they can be workforce ready. Barker Contracting is a commercial general contractor and we are involved in any projects from ground up or tenant improvement. This particular location is a dated building. It was built around 1980s. We recommended that we basically would do a full renovation and that's going to be the best thing for the youth coming in. It's just having a completely revamped space and the new high tech quality, the podcast rooms, the media rooms, everything that's going to be established in this is going to be so well received by all the youth because it's going to be such a fun environment and that's what we want. We want youth to feel safe and welcome and what better way to have a lot of fun in this place and so we're going to do our best to make sure that we provide that for these kids. I think the impact that this Team Tech and Workforce Readiness Center will have will be monumental because what we need is succession planning for our workforce here in Tucson. There's a QR code on the screen and that's how you get involved with the Boys and Girls Clubs of Tucson. And I would tell you it's three ways, time, talent, and resources. Your time. You probably have an expertise and you could come to this clubhouse and help us with a master class. You could help run a program because you might have an expertise in photography, for instance, and we need that. The talent, we're always hiring. We're always looking for the talent to come in and run these programs, again, with the same kind of expertise. And third, resources. We're always looking for funding, and that could come in the form of a tax credit for you, and that means helping our clubs and helping our youth. For more information about us, this Teen Tech Center, and all of our clubhouses, please just scan the QR code, and you'll go right to our website for information. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Doing More. We're here at the Boys and Girls Club's Grant Woods Branch in their art room where great summer exploration begins and young lives are being transformed. Our final stop was in Las Vegas where the spirit of patriotism was alive and thriving during the Summerlin Council Patriotic Parade, Las Vegas Valley's largest and most popular 4th of July parade. Take a look. Isn't it exciting that this is the first Cox Mobile electric vehicle across the country to be in any parade? And as you can see, it's our first electric vehicle that will be driven throughout the Summerlin Patriotic Parade, and it's through Cox Mobile. Cox Mobile is our new product here in Southern Nevada, which we offer cellular service here to our community. Cox has served our community for 25 years here in Southern Nevada. And with that, we have focus areas everywhere from education, STEAM, digital equity, diversity, and of course, environment and sustainability. And with that, we've also given away over $3 million in Cox charitable contributions. 
It is just an amazing partnership for us to be supporting the Summerlin Patriotic Parade. Being the title sponsor really is uniquely a recognition of the effort and initiative of our Summerlin residents that really got this thing started 30 years ago to get out there with their bikes and pick up trucks and really kick off the fourth in a really special way that has uniquely become a part of Summerlin and our culture, but also really grown as the valley has grown. So what started off as a few residents and carts and a float or two is now, you know, being participated by the governor, lieutenant governor, three professional sports teams. So it's just been uh, taken on a life of its own and just been an incredible success. The fact that 50,000 folks are participating mean that this is a way for many, many residents of Southern Nevada to kick off their holiday and again before the fireworks and, and food starts to really say thank you to our men and women in uniform, jump in and, and make this a recurring tradition for them and their family. This is one of the greatest events all year in Nevada, not only just Summerlin, but people come from all over Las Vegas and surrounding areas just to be here to see this great spectacle. And not only that, I bring my family with me, just the immediate family, 270 of us, cause it's the best. Yeah! Thank you, Summerlin Council, for allowing Cox to be a great sponsor. Happy Independence Day, everyone. I want to thank the Boys and Girls Clubs of the Valley for hosting us today and for allowing us to experience some great summer exploration here at the Grant Woods Branch, a place where kids can enjoy Cox Innovation Labs, healthy lifestyles, academic success, and summer fun. The Boys and Girls Clubs of the Valley is a place where engaging experiences begin through the arts, science, and sports. It's a place where state-of-the-art Cox Innovation Labs is packed with tools of technology and a place where a child has an opportunity to build self-confidence and leadership skills in a positive, uplifting environment. If that sounds like something your child would enjoy, visit VGCAZ.org. So happy great summer exploration. I'm Erica Cardenas. See you next time. Ha, ha, ha.